Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integration problem by substitution method. So let's take the first problem. We have sin square x in the numerator. So we have to write this as 1 minus cos square x because we know the identity sin square x plus cos square x is 1. So from that sin square x is 1 minus cos square x. And denominator we have to write as it is 1 plus cos x into dx. Now the numerator is like a square minus b square form. So we can write that as a plus b into a minus b. So 1 minus cos x into 1 plus cos x. We have written a minus b into a plus b whole divided by denominator 1 plus cos x as it is. Then we have into dx. So we can cancel 1 plus cos x. After cancelling we have integral 1 minus cos x dx. Integration of 1 is x and cos x is sin x. And then plus c. Coming to the second question, we have integration of 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x. We have direct formula for 1 minus cos x which is 2 sin square x by 2 and 1 plus cos x is 2 cos square x by 2 dx. We can cancel these two. Then integration of sin square by cos square is tan square x by 2 dx. But we don't have formula for tan square x integration. So we are going to use identity. The identity is secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. Let's carry tan square theta to the other side and 1 here. So secant square theta minus 1 is tan square theta. So this can be written as secant square x by 2 minus 1 into dx. And integration of secant square x by 2 is tan x by 2 and the coefficient of x is half and we have to divide by that while integrating. Then minus 1 integration is minus x plus c. And the next step we can carry this 2 to the numerator. So to become totally 2 tan x by 2 minus x plus c. Then coming to the next one we have integral 1 by 1 plus sin x dx. So we have to multiply by its conjugate. We have 1 by 1 plus sin x. We have to multiply by 1 minus sin x in both numerator and denominator. Then we have into dx. Now numerator we shall keep it as it is 1 minus sin x. Now denominator is a plus b d minus b form. So 1 square minus sin square x dx. But ultimately denominator 1 minus sin square x is cos square x. So let's write the numerator as it is and denominator will become cos square x. Now we are going to divide individually. So first term is 1 by cos square x dx and minus integral sin x by cos square x dx. So this is integral secant square x dx minus integral the sin by cos square can also be written as that is this cos square can be written as cos x into cos x. So we can make this as tan x. So integral tan x into 1 by cos x is secant x. So secant x dx. Now we have a formula of integration of secant square x is nothing but tan x. Integration of secant x tan x is secant x. Then plus c. 